A tiny house is um, is a tiny house. It's generally a house under about 500 square feet is where they start being considered tiny. Tiny houses can be on any sort of foundation. So some tiny houses are up in trees, some tiny, a yurt, if it's a fairly permanent structure is considered a tiny house. The reason why tiny houses are built on trailers was in large part to avoid building codes and building regulations in the states where they are heavily regulated. After I found out about tiny houses, I spent a good, well, almost a full year researching and figuring out what I wanted to do. About six months after I discovered them, I bought my a set of plans that I thought I was going to build. I didn't have all the answers when I started the build, um, but I started the build on my own. I built my subfloor. I started laying out walls. I had the skills to hold a hammer and I can handle a screw gun, but how to handle a problem when something's slightly wrong or something has to be shifted. Uh, and I was able to find a very skilled and talented carpenter who came on to the project and helped me. You have to fit everything you fit into a regular sized house, but in a really small confine. Uh, the house is, uh, on the interior, is seven feet wide and about 20 feet long, almost 20, 20 foot three maybe, 20 foot six at the outside. I was really concerned that it was going to feel it was going to feel small, it was going to feel claustrophobic, it was going to feel like there was no room to move. But I was really pleasantly surprised to find out that the, there's actually quite a lovely feeling of space in my house. I've got a lot of windows. You can see greenery on three sides currently where I'm parked, which is really, really nice. I've tried to keep as much negative space, so unused space. I've tried not to use up every single square inch in storage because um, it then allows the space to feel big. I'm still not quite done, so it's running between, th it'll be between 33 and 37 or 38 thousand um, dollars. At this point in time, it's a very middle class thing. You have to have a certain amount of money to start up, but there are possibilities for it to be used for somebody who, for whom a house otherwise just, it's just not attainable. And everybody should have the dignity of having a home under their own terms. Um, and, and having a home that, for them, it feels safe and secure. This is financially, this is far more sustainable for me than a home with a $130,000 mortgage. I can afford to work for a small non-for-profit and do work and take a part-time job because that's the job that, that is available and then spend the rest of my time volunteering or spending time in my community or traveling. I feel really good knowing that I don't use more than four or five gallons of water a day. Knowing that I am not wasting more energy having heating a home and having all the energy go out uh, through the walls because there's not enough insulation to keep it inside the space. There's a lot more peace in this space than I anticipated. I I'm, I'm finding it easy to go, oh, well, maybe I'm going to go meditate for half an hour. Oh, that'd be really nice um, and allowing myself that luxury and that r richness of time to be able to do it because I feel like I can afford it I don't have to worry about the, the 15 minutes or the hour I didn't spend cleaning the house because it takes me 20 minutes to clean the house <laughs> <laughs>